Calculate the allowed values of the magnetic moment along the field axis of an atom which has J is equal to 1 and G is equal to 2. So J is our total angular momentum quantum number and there is a corresponding magnetic quantum number M sub J which varies in between minus J minus J plus 1 to J minus 1 J etc. as integers. And we can calculate the magnetic moment along the field axis using m is equal to minus g Bohr magneton m sub j. So we're going to do this uh, calculation. So first let's remember that for an atom, which has Total angular momentum quantum number So we, this is what we call J The possible values or the possible set of values for M sub J So M sub J is our total angular momentum magnetic quantum number So these values are minus j, minus j plus 1, all the way up to j minus 1, j. So in this case, uh, with j is equal to 1, we have m sub j, possible values, minus 1, 0, and plus 1. And we can calculate the magnetic moment along the field axis the magnetic moment m along the field axis is basically given by m is equal to minus G Bohr magneton M sub J. So uh, if we have J is equal to 1, M sub J can be minus 1, 0 plus 1, and lambda factor G is equal to 2. This is our lambda factor. Uh, we can calculate the allowed values basically a, a plus to four magneton zero and minus two bore magneton Okay, so we have gone through a simple exercise uh, for the allowed values of magnetic moment along the field axis of an atom which has total angular momentum quantum number j is equal to 1, lambda factor g is equal to 2, so that means it's a spin-only contribution to the magnetic moment for this atom. Uh, the allowed values of m sub j, the total angular momentum magnetic quantum number, are minus 1, 0, and plus 1, and magnetic moment in, along the field axis, the component along the field axis, is minus g Bohr magneton m sub j, so we can substitute for g2 uh, and m sub j minus 1, 0, or plus 1, this gives us plus 2 Bohr magnetons 0 and minus 2 Bohr magnetons as the allowed values
of the magnetic moment in the field axis or along the field axis.